Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I'm Zooey Mama, and this is my tiny, eeny, weeny, teeny little mob collection. And today, you've probably seen it on the thumbnail. Yes, we're doing the warden. I just want to show you this actually. Who can, who can tell me what this mob is? I, I, I tried so hard trying to make a small version of this, but um, yeah, it's still not quite finished. But yeah, <laughs> what do you think? And if you can guess what it is, tell me in the comments because I'm dying to know if it will actually realise what mob it is. Uh, but anyway, yes, we are doing the um, the warden. Now, yeah, you're probably thinking, what is that? That's the big warden, right? Okay, well, just keep your eye, keep that in your memory. Keep it in your memory, okay? Close your eyes if you must. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you now the small version. And I'll tell you what, it took a while to do this. Um, but anyway, before we get there, I just wanna say anyone new around here, I just wanna make you aware that obviously these mobs are my small collection. And the point of it is, is I'm trying to make every mob as small as I possibly can with the most amount of detail. And today, you've got a treat because we've got this tiny gunner. Look at that, I am super proud with how good um, this little warden turned out and I, I don't know I really like it I really do and it's small he is only like, I think like 20 odd blocks tall whereas the full version is like I don't know maybe three times as many as this but anyway enough of me talking let's get on to the blocks and colors for this build so the blocks you'll need for this build are black wool 42 437 black concrete 46 gray concrete Cyan terracotta 59, 70 cyan wool, 152 cyan concrete, 4 light blue wool, 36 smooth quartz blocks, 40 mushroom stem, and stripped warped hyphae 20. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm, I never pronounce it. But anyway, yeah, some of them. Starting off with your quartz block, you're going to place one. Next to that, we're going to go with a grey concrete. On top, a cyan. And then on top of that, another grey. To the left and to the right, you want to place another grey with another smooth quartz in the bottom there. Then get your black concrete. You're going to go one, two, and then also do a row across the top as well. Once you've done that, come to the left or right. It doesn't really matter. Do one, two block gap. And then on the third block, you're gonna place a smooth quartz, skip a block, place a quartz. Then in the center, gray concrete with a cyan concrete on top and then another gray concrete. And then yes, you've guessed it, one to the left and one to the right as well. Followed by black concrete, one, two, three, four, five. And you should have two fronts of the feet looking exactly the same so far. Then what we're gonna do is spin on around to the back and we're going to do the same again. So you're going to leave a one block gap and on the third block in total, so it's one, two, three, or one, two. It's up to you. Don't know, it depends how you look at it, right? And then use your quartz again and practically copy exactly what you can see in front of you. Do the same for this one. And I'll catch up you in a minute when you've done that. So there we go, we should have two feet exactly the same so far with a one block gap down the center there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just fill that in quickly now. So use your gray concrete and we're actually gonna go one, two, and then two black concrete on top. And you're gonna do that for every single section. So one, two gray concrete, two black concrete on top. Spin on round to either side of the feet as well. Do the same, two gray and two black. And then the final one, and this side, two grey and two black. And that's the feet all complete already. Look at that. So what I want you to do now is come on to the left hand side of the leg and place a black block and come out by one. So overhang the front of the leg by one. Bring that line all the way across the front of the legs. Okay. And then overhang the side of the legs by one block as well. And stop there. Okay. Do the same on the opposite side as well. So it should be out by one block around the front and out by one block all the way down the side of the legs. And the back section, we're actually not gonna overhang it by one, we're actually just gonna connect this black all the way to the other side, all right? So just that's very important that the back of the legs, it doesn't overhang, but it overhangs on the side and it overhangs by the front, okay? While we've got the black on our hand, we're actually gonna spin on underneath the build here and just pop in four black concrete there just to fill that hole in. And let's move on to the next section. So with our black in our hand, what we can do is on the left hand side on this section we've already built, we're gonna go black concrete, one, two, three, 
with a black wool, two grey concrete, another black wool, and then finish it off with black concrete all the way to the end. Okay, so you should have something looking like that. On the left hand side again, we're going to start up here. We're going to go black concrete, black wool. Then we're going to go to two grey concrete, two black concrete, two grey wool, a black wool, and then a black concrete. So you should have another row looking like that. Next row up on the left hand side, again, we're going to go black wool. This time we're going to go with a grey concrete, a grey uh, cyan concrete, and then a mushroom stem this time, followed by two black concrete, another mushroom stem, then another cyan concrete, followed by a grey concrete, and then top it off with a black wool on the end, and that's our next row complete. Again, starting from the top left again, this time with our black wool, we're going to go two black wool, two black concrete, then we're going to go with one um, light blue wool this time, followed by three black concrete, one, two, three, and then finish it off with two black wool on the end, and that's our next row complete. Remember, starting from the left-hand side again, we're going to start with grey concrete this time, followed by a cyan concrete, followed by a stem. Then we're going to go two black concrete. This time we're going to go with a one black, um, sorry, one light blue wool. I keep getting the colours mixed up. A black concrete. Then we're going to go back with our stem. Then we're going to go with our concrete again, a cyan, should I say, and then back of a grey concrete on the end, and that's our next row complete. Then on the top left again, we're going to go black wool, black wool, black concrete, two. Then we're going to go two light blue wool this time, back with our black concrete, and then finish it off with black wool on the end as well. Look at that. Top left again, we're going to start off with our black concrete this time. So on there, black wool, oh, sorry, black concrete, Followed by a grey concrete, then a cyan concrete, a mushroom stem, back with two black concrete, go back with our stem, go back with our cyan concrete, then go back with our grey concrete, and then finish it off with a black concrete on the end, and that's our next row, and we're nearly there now, so bear with me. Next row up again, we're going to start with our black concrete again on the left hand side, then we're going to go with a black wool, followed by two grey concrete, two black wool, two more grey concrete, a black wool, and then finish it off with a black concrete on the end, and that's our next row complete. And the final and last row on the left-hand side, again, with our black concrete, we're going to go one, oh, sorry, one, two, two black wool, two black concrete, two black wool, and then two black concrete to finish it off, and phew, that's, a, that's the front panel all done. I know it looks a bit weird at the minute, but it won't when we're finished. Okay, now we've done the front, let's go spin on round and do the back. And I'm telling you now, if you thought that was hard, well, this next bit is super, super simple. Okay, what you need to do is on the sort of section that we've already built up, remember, on the middle two blocks here, we're going to go with our mushroom stem. On top of that, get your black wool out, place one, two, three, four, so it should be overhanging either side by one. On top of that, mushroom stem, do four. On top of that, get your black wool out again, one, two, three, four, and overhang it by either side by one. And then on top of that, mushroom stem, like so. Then again, get your black wool out, and you can do a row all the way across the top of that one. In the center two blocks, though, you're going to place what, uh, two mushroom stems, so it should be in line with the two at the bottom as well. Go back to your black wool, and just go one on the side, two on top, and then one on the other side as well. And then pretty much all we need to do now is get your black concrete and come to the, the corner and you can just bring that black concrete all the way up to the top and it should be in line with the front of the build and then bring that black all the way across the top of that and again it should be in line with the front of the build same with this corner bring it all the way up like so and then yes you've probably already guessed it we're going to fill in all these gaps with a black concrete but before we do that if you get out your cyan concrete, we're just going to pop on those little sort of sparkly bits that the um, the warden does have on it. So what I did is I popped one in that corner there, okay, and then I also popped one just here, there, which is sort of diagonal to that wall that we've already placed. And then I just pay, um, used a grey concrete as well, and I just popped in one just there, sort of in line with that mushroom stem but there, and then like I said, get your black concrete out and then literally fill in all these gaps now with black concrete. And once you've done that, we'll catch up in a second. 
So there we go, there you have it. That's the back of the build all complete and how simple was that? Let's spin on round and sort of let's think about what we're gonna do for the next section. So what we're gonna do now is from the left hand side of the build, we're gonna come in by one block and then we're also gonna come down by one block as well. So just make sure you come in, like I said, from one block and then also down one block as well. And we're gonna place a four cyan wall and that's where the arms are gonna start from. So from this point on the left hand side, we're gonna go with a cyan terracotta, black concrete, a, another cyan wall and then a cyan terracotta. Then the next two rows, you can actually fill in with black concrete. So one row and two rows. Next up, we're gonna go with a cyan terracotta, two black concrete, and then another cyan terracotta. Next row up on the left hand side, we're gonna go with a cyan wall, a cyan terracotta, a black concrete, and then another cyan wall. Next row up again, we're gonna go mushroom stem, a cyan wall, then we're gonna go with a cyan terracotta, and then another mushroom stem. Next row up on the left hand side, we're gonna go stem, stem, a wall, and then finish it off with a quartz block. Next row up from the left hand side again, remember, quartz, quartz, then we're gonna go with a stem this time, go with another quartz on the end. Then on the left hand side again, we're gonna go quartz, black concrete, quartz, black concrete. And then the last row on top can all be black concrete as well. And that is one first, well, the first bit of the front arm done. So once you've done that one, yes, you've already guessed it. We're gonna spin on around to the right hand side and do the exact same. So we're gonna get our cyan wall and we're gonna come in by one block and also down by one block again. And remember, we're gonna come across by four blocks in total. And we're gonna start from the left hand side. We're gonna go cyan terracotta, a cyan wall, then go back with our black concrete and then a cyan terracotta on the end. On the left hand side, again, we're gonna do two rows of black concrete. So one, two rows. On the left hand side, we're gonna go cyan terracotta, two black concrete and then a cyan terracotta. On the top left, again, we're gonna go with a cyan wall, a black concrete, a cyan terracotta, and then finish it off with a cyan wall on the end like that. Next row up is gonna be a mushroom stem, followed by a cyan terracotta, another cyan wall, and then also a stem on the end. Next row up from the left hand side, we're gonna go with our quartz block. We're gonna go with a cyan wall, and then two more stems. On the left hand side, yet again, we're gonna go with our quartz block this time. We're gonna go with a mushroom stem, finished off by two more quartz. Then on the left hand side, again, we're gonna go black concrete, quartz, black concrete, and then quartz again, and then top it off with a row of black concrete across the top, and phew, that's two arms complete. So now you've done that, what me and my fellow subscribers like to do is we like to have a little race, but I'm just gonna quickly briefly tell you what we're gonna race for. So what I need you to do is we're gonna actually race and see who can do this arm and this arm the quickest at the same time, all right? But I just wanna to explain to you before we get going what we're gonna do. So um, essentially the back of the build here, this sort of back section we built, um, it's the arm's gonna be built off the side of this. So you can actually, if you wanna just go ahead now and do um, your four um, cyan wall across the base of that one and then do the same for the, the other side as well. So you can come towards you by two blocks and then one, two, three. Um, so there should be a one block gap. So in, in theory, it should be three blocks sort of wide, these arms. And like I said, they sort of, they're in from the front of the body by one block, but they're sort of all in line along the back with the back section, if that makes sense, okay? I hope I'm not complicating things too much. But anyway, we're gonna race and see who can quickly um, dismantle, <laughs> I mean, build both of these two sections, okay? So if you wanna race along, you can. If you wanna take your time, then go for it. We'll just catch up in a minute, okay? So without further ado, enough of me talking. Ready? In a three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, okay, so my strategy is just panic and flap around like I normally do. And I just wanna say, if you are new around here, I never retake these or edit them. I just purely do it as you see me now. So if I'm making mistakes, I'm making mistakes big time, all right? So um, just bear that in mind. And, and also bear in mind as well that I am actually trying to record my voice um, while I'm actually building it. So it is quite tricky sometimes. I know it's probably not the best way to do it, but that's the way I like to do it. 
adds a bit of pressure to the things, doesn't it? Right, so that's one arm complete. I hope you've completed the first arm because I'm on moving on to the second one. So hurry up. <laughs> So, there we go. And you might be thinking, how am I switching blocks quick as well? Some of you might not already know, some probably already do. There's a thing called pick block, which is in your um, sort of menu, and you can actually change it on your buttons, so you can actually quickly select any block you want. And I just um, put it on my D-pad as the up button, so I can quickly switch between blocks when I'm building like this. So, um, yeah, there we go. I am looking pretty good, by the way. If you haven't got to this point, you better hurry up, because I'm nearly done. I'm complete, I'm complete, I'm done. No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, ah! Now I'm complete. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Oh, I panicked that last bit. Oh, I just missed a block out. I didn't even see it. But anyway, you should have. No, um, the back all complete. And that's all in line with each other across the back here. Okay. And the fr you should have a, a one block gap down the center there. And there we go. Let's move on to the next section, shall we? So this next bit is very, very simple. Spin on round to either side, it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna get your cyan wall. We're gonna start from the bottom. We're gonna go one, two. Get your black concrete out. We're gonna go one, two, oh, two, three. Go with your cyan terracotta, one on top. Then go with your cyan wall, one on top. And then finish it off with some quartz, one, two. And then just top it off with some black concrete, one, two as well. And you should have it all filled in like that. And we're going to spin on round and do the other side, right? So if you didn't quite catch that, let's spin on round. We're going to do the exact same on this side as well. So again, start from the bottom with your cyan wall. Pop one in there and one there. On top of that, you're going to go with black concrete. One, two, three. On top of that, a cyan terracotta, followed by a cyan wall. And then followed by two quartz blocks. One, two. And then top it off with some black concrete. One, two to finish it off like so. And then you might want to go underneath as well while we're here, get your cyan wall and you can actually just go one, two, three across there just to close that gap over. Do the same on the opposite arm as well. One, two, three. There we go. It's all nicely sealed off now. Okay, once we've done that, let's move on to the next section. So moving on to the head section of the build, what I want you to do is come to the front of the build and get your black concrete and overhang the front of the body by one block. Right now, what I want you to do, we're going to do like a rectangle around the sort of front and the arms and, and the back of the body. Right, so um, bring that line all the way across, okay, until you meet the edge of the sort of chest area, and then we're going to overhang it from the arms by one block. Okay, so it should be one, two, three blocks now, and then um, bring that line all the way to the back and overhang the back of the body by one. And then also bring that all the way across to the other arm, which is back here somewhere. There we go. And again, it should be overhanging the arm by one block. So it should be three blocks now at the top of the shoulder, which is showing. All right. So that makes sense. I hope it does. Okay. Like that. There we go. And this should be actually one, two, three, four, five, six wide in total. Okay. Just make sure you get that right because obviously you're going to have a wonky head out. Okay, starting from the top left hand side, we're going to start building this head up now. So using your black concrete, we're going to go one, two, followed by two cyan concrete, a grey concrete, two black wool, a grey concrete, two cyan concrete, and then two black concrete to finish it off. And that's our first row complete. On the next row, we're going to use a black concrete, followed by a cyan concrete, two black concrete again, a cyan concrete. We're going to go with two cyan wool a cyan concrete, two black concrete, a cyan concrete, and then a black concrete on the end, and that's our next row complete. Next row up is gonna be a black concrete, a black wool. We're also gonna finish, um, sorry, finish up, <laughs> start with a cyan terracotta. Then we're gonna do six black concrete, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then a cyan terracotta again, followed by a black wool, and then a black concrete to finish that off, and that's our next row complete. Next row up, we're going to do two black concrete, so one, two. This time we're going to go with a cyan concrete, a cyan terracotta. Then we're going to go four black concrete, so one, two, three, four. Back with our cyan terracotta, then back with our cyan concrete, and then finish it off with two black concrete on the end, that's our next row complete. Next row up on the left-hand side, you know, black concrete again, we're going to go one, two, three this time, a cyan concrete, and then we're going to get our cyan wall, go one, two, three, four, 
back to our cyan concrete and then just finish it off with black to the end so it should be three on the end like so and that's our mouth sort of section complete okay so from the left hand side again we're going to start up here and we're going to go one black concrete we're going to go black wool and we're going to mix things up a little bit now i'm going to freestyle a bit here we go so up black wool and then we're also going to put one diagonal to that it's just easier than switching all these blacks in a second all right so you'll see what i'm in a minute black concrete start back from the bottom here and we're going to go one two three four and then go back with your black wool and from here we're going to go one two three four five okay then i want you to come up by one on the left hand side and then come across by two one two like that so you should have a funky pattern looking like that so far come back down to the right hand side and we're going to go black concrete one two followed by a black wool then you can also go black concrete black concrete go back to your black wool and go back to this block and you just want to go diagonal from that by one and then above that you're going to go one and then one across also go one up and one across as well there you go like that so you should have something looking like that what we're going to do now is just quickly switch your cyan terracotta okay go for the center these two blocks here you're going to go one two across like that bridge that gap on the end here you can go two as well one two so it should be in line with the side there and then come across to the other side on the left hand side and go one two and then finish off with a cyan concrete on the end Okay, so everything else now in the center here, it should be just now black concrete. And the reason why I did that, it just it saves a lot of messing around, switching between blocks. I just thought it might be a little bit easier. Like that, there we go. That's so much quicker. There we go. So that's the sort of front section done. We've just got to move up to the sort of upper half of the head. So now go back to your cyan terracotta. Where we started off earlier, you can start from the left-hand side. We're going to go up by one and across by one. Scooch across to this middle two here, and you want to pop one on the left hand side there. This right hand side, you can actually place a black concrete. Go back to your cyan terracotta, miss a block, and place one there as well. Now, all you need to do now is go back to your cyan concrete and just fill in this first row all the way across, like so, and then also go up a row and then fill that all the way across to the opposite side. So, if you didn't quite get that, there you go, I'll let you see that there quickly before we move on. If you need to pause the video, quickly pause it now and just copy that down if I if it got a little bit confusing for you. So now we've done the front of the head, we're going to spin around and do the back of the head. So get your black concrete out and from the back of the head here, from this block here, we're going to come up by nine in total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On top of that, you can actually go with a cyan terracotta followed by two cyan concrete and that should now bring it in line with the top of the head you can actually bring that cyan terracotta all the way across and then meet the front of the head now okay so now we're here from the front section of the head we're actually going to go one two leave a gap and place one switch to your cyan terracotta in this, in this gap that we place we're going to go one two three pop one to the left and then also a cyan concrete to the left of that as well. And then just here, just as this comes down, I want you to place two random blocks there, or you can leave it completely empty because that's where the horn sort of section is going to go on the build. Now, all you need to do now is pretty much get your black concrete out and fill it in from the bottom to the top with black concrete. Once you've done that, what I did is added a couple of them sparkly bits that you get on the warden. So what I did, if you want to copy exactly what I did, from these um, cyan here, I went one, two, three, fourth one down. I placed a cyan concrete, and then I also placed a uh, sorry a grey concrete um, just down in the corner here. Come up by one diagonally, and then pop one in there as well. And then also when we add the ear on or the sort of horn section, it's going to look pretty cool. While we're here as well, um, I just noticed with your black concrete, the top of the shoulder, you can actually pop in two blocks there and that just completes the top shoulder, shoulder, uh, shoulder section as well. And you've probably already guessed what we're going to do. We're going to literally spin on round to the opposite side and copy the exact same pattern on this side of the build as well. So um, if you fancy a little race, let's go for it. If not, you can take your leisurely time and again, replicate exactly what we've done here on side on top of this and don't forget while we're here guys just pop in two black concrete there just to fill in the top of the shoulder as well but anyway 
Let's get onto the build. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm going to start from the top this time because I think it's probably the more logical, sensible thing to do. And this is very simple, this one. It's, it's in a couple of colours. Saying that, I'm messing up already. I'm messing up already. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? I'll tell you what. I just want to let you know now. This section of, of the video took me about 20, 20 takes, I think. Not not me building now, but I mean, like, um, <laughs> before I start getting to this point. Um, it's just really bugging me. Um, but anyway, let's get this done. Uh, come on, come on, come on. How are you doing? I just need to put the sparkly bits on. I'm, I'm all done. Where did the sparkly bits go? I forgot where I put them. Oh no, where did I put them? Well, you can put them randomly. One, oh, it's four. One, one, two, three, four. One there. I think it was there. Yes, one there. And then one diagonal from here. One there. I think it was. I'm done. I'm done. Complete. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit weird because, I mean, you don't have to put your sparkly bits there. You can put them wherever you want, but um, I think they look better there. But if you want to move them, go for it. If you want to, I don't know, put the blue one there, you can do. And obviously put the grey one there. Give it a bit of variation. Why not? You don't have to have it exact, exactly matching opposite sides. But anyway, that's enough of fun. Let's get on to the rest of the build. So now we've done the two sides and the front of the head. The back is very, very simple. All we need to do is spin on round. And we can start from the top. It's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. Get your cyan concrete out and actually just bring that all the way across to the opposite side to start off with. So you should have something looking like that. Then we're going to go back to the left hand side. We're going to go cyan. Then we switch to our uh, terracotta. Two cyan, um, a terracotta, and then two cyan. And then I went back with cyan terracotta, two, and then just um, a cyan concrete on the end like that. Go back to your cyan terracotta actually while we're here, we're just going to go one, two there. Come back to that, this, the, the central block, should I say, which is on its own. Go one, two. And then go all the way back to this left hand side and pop one in there. And then that's it. The rest now is all going to be filled in with black concrete. So again, um, you can uh, do all that and I'll catch you up in a minute once I've filled all this in with black. And yes, you probably guessed it, we need to add in a few of those little sparkly bits. So again, using your cyan concrete, I put in three on the back of mine. So what I did is, if you want to do exactly what I did, um, from where these two black concrete are, all you do is come down by one, two, three, and on the fourth one, I popped in a cyan concrete like that. Then switch to your uh, grey concrete, sorry. And what I did is, underneath these two blue sections here, on the right-hand side one, Come all the way down by five, one, two, three, four, five, and then that one there. I think that's the sixth one actually. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it's five. On the fifth one there. And then also your cyan concrete again. I pretty much did one in this bottom corner, so come up diagonal by one. And I think I popped one in there as well. But again, if you want to put these randomly, if you want to add in more, go for it. It just adds to the, you know, the the detail of it really. I mean, there you go, pop in one there. It looks fine, look. See? So I'll leave you to your creative imagination that just obviously don't worry too much because it's going to look awesome how many you place in there and whatever, however random it is as well. Going back to the top of the build quickly, what I want you to do is get your cyan concrete and that is pretty much all going to be cyan across here so you can fill all that gap in there like so. Very, very simple this bit. There we go, looking nice. Right, okay, all we need to do is whack on this guy's little sort of antennae, horny things, whatever they are. Right, I just want to say before we move on to the ear section, um, stripped, warped, hyphia, hyph, 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 I can't even pronounce it, but that stuff, we're using that wooden stuff that you can get in the never, right? So I just, yeah, just, just <laughs> when I say stripped wood, that's what I mean, okay? I just don't want to keep saying its name over and over again because I can't pronounce it. But anyway, let's get on to it. So black concrete, we're going to start off with, we're going to pop in two there, go bosh, bosh. Next to that, we're going to go with our cyan wall. We're going to, I can't even see where I place that black concrete now. One, two, and then come across by one, two, three in total. So you should have something looking like that. Then go back to your black concrete. We're going to pop in one there, that stripped wood next to it. On top of that, a black concrete. Next to that, stripped wood. Then go back to cyan wall, go one, two, three, like so. I know it's a bit funky, I must admit. 
go back to your cyan concrete and in this gap here we're going to go one two three and then just underneath that we're going to do some more of that stripped wood just there there bang like that one there and then also one on this left hand side as well so you should have something looking like that so far go to your cyan concrete and what we want to do is next to these two wall here that we got here we're going to go one two come across by one and then go up by two one two so you should have a funky pattern looking like that on this corner just underneath we're going to do two more of those stripped wood that i can't pronounce okay and then also pop one in there as well on top of that you're going to go with a cyan wall to the left of this go to your cyan concrete go one two three one to the left and one to the right as well i don't know why i said that was left that was right it's the other way around one left one right and then also one on the top left hand side as well go back to that weird wood stuff pop one on top of there okay one to the left hand side just there and then also pop one in underneath like so and that my friends is one of the sort of antennae thingamabobbers done spinning on around to the left hand side we're going to do exactly the same this time so remember two black concrete next to that we're going to go with our cyan wall we're going to go one two and they're going to come across by one two three in total switch that weird wood pop one underneath there and then go up and then pop one on top as well go back to your black concrete we're going to pop one there one on top next to that you can place another wood followed by cyan wall go one two and then up by one as well so you should have something looking like that go back to your cyan concrete we're gonna go one two three to fill the gap in and then leave one block and on the end here you can do that weird wood i'm going to keep calling it weird wood go back to your cyan concrete and next to these two wall we're gonna go one two come across by one and then go up by two one two go back to the wood and underneath this section we just built go one two and we can also pop one in that corner there as well with a wall on top switch to your cyan concrete and from this gap here go one two three one to the left one to the right and then also go up on the right hand side by one as well go back to your wood and we're going to pop one on the left hand side one jutting out from this right hand side and then also one in the right hand side of that and there we go my friends it's been a big big task but for a little guy there's quite a lot of different blocks going on there but anyway oh i've got two now look at that it's crazy <laughs> but anyway um that is my my interpretation of a baby warden so i hope you enjoyed that video make sure you stick around for more and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe <laughs> i'll see you on the next one i've been zooming mama bye